Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I would like to welcome you out to my wild backyard on this night where we're going to get busy doing some hornworm hunting. Yes, it's a serious topic. I have killed about six or seven during the early morning hour and they've done a little bit of a number on my tomatoes. Now they have not bothered my peppers. Now this technique I have used for a long time, about 10 years I do believe, and it's using a black light, y'all. As soon as I can find, yes, a black light because hornworms will glow in the dark. So let's get busy hunting hornworms at night while it's cool and they are out trying to eat your tomatoes and your peppers up. So let's turn the camera over here to the tomato plant. And as you can see, Hornworms will glow very brightly. In the darkness. So will the twine that you use as well. But you can spot them very easily. You want to take time and look for the little one, the big one. Because they're on here. Maybe not now, but they will be. And you want to try to catch everyone that you can. You want to turn, you want to turn your leaves up, look under them. Cats are attacking the tripod, y'all. I don't see any, thankfully, on this plant. You will see them with the black light. And it's a whole lot cooler. So let's keep walking over here. This is the one that they have really attacked. I found a great big one the other day on it. And I found a lot of babies. But other than that, I think I've got most of them off. You just want to use your black light. You'll see every spot that you took a leaf off. And of course, it's night time. Depending on where you are, be careful about predators. Especially if you live where four-legged are, here you gotta watch out for the two-legged. But thankfully, I'm not seeing any on my tomatoes, but they have ate quite a bit. So I think much. You'll also be able to find eggs. I don't know what they are, but ain't taking no chances. Mush them off. All right, I don't see any on this one yet. If you want to take your time, go over them real well. You'll find eggs. You'll be able to see many things. You also want to keep an eye on the ground, too. Of course, you got to watch out for snakes and so on. So, let's move over to the other tomatoes. Now, if you're like me, I add shredded paper. It's amazing how shredded paper illuminates up. 
right, I'm going to walk through here, check each of my tomatoes. Of course, keeping it on the ground as well. For hormone and for snakes. You can see the beans already fell. It's actually cooled down nicely out here, enjoying the sound of the frogs. Be careful about running into everything and also check the ground because they do crawl on the ground. Thankfully, none in this bed yet. And I hope we will keep it that way. All right, we're going to go to the, next, the last bed. This is the last bed that I have tomatoes in. I killed one on this tomato right here. It had stripped the tomato pretty good, but it'll come back. Don't get rid of your tomatoes. Now, if you got chickens, they will love you for the hornworm. And if you don't, smush and kill them. Yeah, thank you so far. None on my plant. Now, if you happen to have any, they will shine a neon green and they will stick out like a sore thumb. I'm going to check my peppers. Okay, check my peppers. They haven't bothered my peppers, but I think they will not like it if they do. Oh, it's pretty. How the bloom is shining. Aha. I don't know what that is. That was something chewing on my pepper. Kind of caterpillar. We've done eight couple of my leaves. That one tried to look like the the stem. So be careful. Make sure you look for everything. Cause they try to hide.
Okay. So I found one critter. A varmint. But it's not hard to do. It's not hard to use. And the bugs will glow like crazy, y'all. This is a technique I have used, and it has done me very well. Let me trade lights. I hope you will use this technique, too, because it's not hard to get a little black light. <coughs> they are cheap, and you don't have to buy expensive lights. I'm enjoying listening to the sound of nature. If it could just only drown out them. But, yep. Fix my head inside. So far, see, there's the one that got ate up. Well, you can't see it. But I had one little one get ate pretty bad. And they done a number on my bigger ones. But you know what? I ain't got to worry about it. They're dead now. Got to stay vigilant on these tomato hornworms. Because they won't stop trying to eat your tomatoes and your peppers. And your eggplant. So just keep an eye on them. And I check in the morning and I check at night. So, Yep. I will get them one way or another. I hope this encourages you to also keep an eye out on your plants. Because yes, they are just as important as well. Because that's what's going to feed you. And you got to keep the bugs off of you. And this way I don't have to spray. I can continue to grow organically. Everyone, take care. Stay safe and sound in this crazy world. Continue to stock up your pantry with food that will nourish and heal you. Medicines that will heal you as well. Um, protection of all kinds and the bare essentials. It's time for me to head back inside because skeeters are eating me up. And like I said, watch where you walk always. Because there could be, you know, raccoons, possums, but the biggest one at night is snakes. Everyone, take care. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And may you each be blessed. Hoot hoot. I'll see you soon.